Hi, welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Srikant Desai. In this video, I will show you how to create user groups and read-only user in Informatica Cloud. By the end of this session, you will know how to create a read-only user in Informatica Cloud and how to create user groups. Let us log into Informatica Cloud. First, uh, let us create a user group. In order to create a user group, click on Administration tab, click on User Groups, click on New. You can give the name of the user group. Let me name it as Read Access. Another permissions, uh, since we are creating a read-only user, you know, uh, we'll create a user group which will have only read access on this object, on all these object types. If you scroll down, uh, you will see uh, the users which are already uh, listed in Informatica Cloud. You can directly add these users to to this user group or else you can create a new user as well okay uh, in this case uh, let me create a new user so let me cancel this click on ok so here a user group read access is created now let us create a new user click on administration tab click on users click on new let us choose a username let me give it as info cloud at Let me give the password. Confirm the password. So you can choose these options first name, enter all the details. give you phone number and a user security just ensure that you choose designer not admin okay and here since we have created a read access a user group uh, you you should be able to see the user group listed here just you can choose read access and click on OK. Now here a new user infacloud at infa.com is created with a read-only access. We'll confirm this uh, by logging in with this username. Just let me log out and log in with that username. So here, if you go to any data synchronization task, you will only be able to see the task, but you cannot edit the task or you will not be able to create the task. You can choose the secure agent. You'll only be able to, you know, the, the user will only be able to see the objects, but not able to modify or create 
objects. So this is the end of the video. Please let us know if you have any further questions or queries. You can contact us on support videos at informatica.com or on the other the below URL https colon forward slash forward slash twitter dot com forward slash infosupport. Thank you.